All right, y'all. So, got to speak on uh, Kareem Gaines, the young lady who was murdered by the police in Baltimore this past Monday after she barricaded herself inside of her apartment with a small child. This was uh, in a tip to avoid arrest from the police who came to serve a warrant, to execute a warrant against her for failure to appear in court on some traffic violations and also uh, resisting arrest. Now, what's, what's really interesting about this case is that before she was killed, that, that she shot a video. Uh, it's like I'm experiencing a bad connection, okay? So she shot this video where she was in her car and the police pulled her over for not having a tag on her car. And she was real defined. I mean, she had like crazy contempt for law enforcement. And she was telling them that she didn't have to get out of her car. They didn't have the proper... Uh, paperwork to arrest her. She was not leaving her car. Was, she's not getting out the car. She uh, passed her phone in which she was recording the whole incident to her son, to her small son in the back seat, and she told him to record everything. And if they put their hands on you, fight them, fight them, fight them. And she kept saying, you're going to have to kill me. Yeah, I'm only only way I'm leaving here is in a body bag. You got to kill me. I know what you're here for. You want to kill me. They want you know. She she you could tell that she was schooling her son about what was going on with law enforcement around America. Now, the thing that that I'm that I'm taking about I'm, that takes me aback about about this whole case is that. I'm reading. A, I've been reading a lot of comments, and I've, I've been slow to comment on this because I, I kind of really wanted to get get some facts together. And but at the same time, I wanted to hear what you guys were saying because I, I mean I, I do read your comments and and I do uh, scour the internet and and I and I talk to people, not just get on the internet, but when I know people that I know people that's in Baltimore. So I made some phone calls to some friends out there also who happen, happen, happens to know this young lady and but but you can check out the video without even knowing it you know that she has that like a great contempt for law enforcement and people are saying well you know she got what she deserved you know that's what happens when you you know you you, you disobey the law you know you know you're not above the law just comply and she'd still be alive and they were saying this stuff about her in the video saying how she was just being basically being a rogue and you know and this wasn't just your your typical confederate flag skinhead backwoods no teeth in the mouth white racist a lot of pe black people making these comments too i even see, heard black men making comments about this is why I don't deal with black women and too honorary, this and that or whatever, whatever. But y'all got to understand that for that woman to have the kind of contempt that she had, it had to be deeper than that. See, this is the hate that hate produced. You see? See, everybody ain't going to just comply. Everybody, see some, see, some people, some people ain't, really concerned about living a life of compliance, a life where they just get pushed around, a life where they have no feeling, a life where they're afraid to live and afraid to stand up for what they believe in. Now, did she take it too far even when she, in that video where they arrested her at and she refused to get out the car, they took her keys and she had her two small kids in the car? Depends on who you ask. Uh, if you were, if you were in her shoes and you were to internalize all of the death and destruction that law enforcement had been causing to black people in America, 
over the last several years, you might reach your tipping point. I, 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 I often think, what would what would happen if white this was happening to white people? You know, would, you know, how many white people would be so sympathetic to uh, to these cops? You know, killing people, and you know, just, how, how many white people would just really agree with the way cops behave when they deal with with white with black people? I watched this video of Jane Elliott, and she Jane Elliott is a uh, uh, anti-racism activist, and she asked white folks in a room full of white folks had to be a few hundred people. She said, "I want you to raise your hand." I think she said, raise your hand or stand up if you would want for yourself to be treated the way black people in this country are treated. Guess how many people stood up? Not one. That tells you that white people in this country who often are cop apologists, they know what's going on. They know that there's discrimination against black people. They know that the cops treat black people differently, but they refuse to acknowledge it because for whatever reason, they refuse, they just refuse to acknowledge it. They refuse to, they, they, they remain silent for whatever reason. This was the result of the hate that hate produced. Let's not play with this, man. Let's stop dancing around these issues and stop trying to kumbaya this shit. We got a serious problem with white, specifically white males being hired in America to become law officers. Officers of the law, specifically white males, racist white males are killing us. Killing, killing, killing. They are being hired to kill. They coming on the job to kill. They being recruited to kill. They're, 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 they are the new KKK. They traded in their sheets for, black, for blue, blue suits, badges and guns so they could legally get away with it. So that's the hate that hate produced. That was one person that just reached up ball and pointed and said, fuck it, I'd rather die than to continue living like this. You know, she, you know that she had to know she internalized all of that killing, all of that abuse, all of that bias, all of that prejudice, all that racism, and she reached a boiling point. Now, to me, she more of a man than most of you motherfuckers out there is. Because a lot of you motherfuckers out there gang banging, y'all out there killing, or kill a black man in a heartbeat, just like that. Somebody bump into you, you don't like, I don't like that, I don't like that nigga. Bam, 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 bam. I don't like him. Just bam, bam, bam. I don't like him. But the cop will call your mama a bitch. The cop, a man handle your daughter in a swimsuit. The white cop, man handle your daughter in a swimsuit. Put a case on you. A bogus ass case on, case on you. Harass you in your neighbor on in your own that same neighborhood. You run around screaming, throwing it up for that you will kill the other dude for your so-called enemies for. You will kill him in a heartbeat. But but that's your hood. Don't come around this block. Don't come down this street. We run this. We run this. But when the cop come through, you bow down like a bitch. When the police come through. You let the police come through and do anything they want to do. That woman stood up and she said, fuck that. I ain't having it. I don't give a damn. Fuck it. You kill me. I'd rather die. Like a lot of slaves back in the day, everybody did not submit. Everybody didn't submit. Every slave did not submit. Every slave did not say, you know what? This is the best it's going to get. Let me work this cotton field for 50 years and die. Everybody didn't do it. Some people fought back. And some people didn't just die. Some people killed. Some slaves killed. Said, fuck that. We tired of it. We ain't having it no more. I salute that woman. 
I salute her. Because she, a lot of you motherfuckers out there, you'll die just because. But you won't die for a cause. Do you understand what I'm saying? You will die just because, but you won't die for a cause. I got more respect for her than I have for a lot of you motherfuckers out there. Real talk. Black people especially running around here, you know, talking bad about this woman. Black men talking down about this woman. That's why I don't ditch. Look at she got an attitude like black women. Shut your sissy foul coon ass up. You're a fucking disgrace. Kareem Games, I salute you. And every other woman out there that got more fucking nuts than some of these dudes out here. I salute y'all. Black Lives Matter, the women that started that, the, 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 the people that started that, these were women. These were women that took the that got on the front lines. Sister Crystal Muhammad, that's right here in Houston. That's a woman. Got more fucking nuts than most of you motherfuckers out there running around acting like you a real dude. Running around throwing these signs up, killing each other. Throwing these signs up, throwing these colors up. Over stupid shit, dumb shit. Going out there getting 50 years for nothing. What you in jail for? Oh man, I, I killed a fool for some Jordans. What you in jail for? Oh man, uh, I, 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 I slung some dope man and got caught. You know, with, with a couple of bricks. What you in here for? What you in here for? What you die for? What did you die for? Stupid shit. At least she died for a cause and not, not just because. Died for something she actually believed in. Something that was honorable. And I don't care what nobody say. Them motherfucking cops in Baltimore, they're dirty. And they went there to kill that woman because they knew what, what kind of woman she was dealing with. And oh yeah, guess what? Facebook helped them get rid of the evidence. So y'all download my video right now because they probably take it off of here because Facebook is working with the police. Yeah, I said it. Y'all didn't know that, did you? She was live streaming. She was live streaming the, the, the standoff for evidence. So she could show y'all, she could show the world what was going on. Facebook, the, the, the police called Facebook and made Facebook uh, shut her account down. After they shut her account down, one hour later, the woman was dead. Why did they do that? Because they wanted to get rid of the evidence. It wasn't that she was compromising the negotiations. It was because they wanted to kill that woman. And they wanted to make sure they got rid of the evidence. And Facebook helped them. Now put that in your fucking pipe and smoke it. Kareem Gaines, I salute you.